Has anybody seen my red balloon? You'll float too down here. <laughs> I actually tried out for the role of the Joker in The Dark Knight, but that bastard Heath Ledger got the role. What is one to do? What shall I have today? Let's go for some Weetabix. Two will do. Plop it down. And a few Rush Krispies. Lovely snap, crackle and pop. And I want to put something on top of it. No. I know, let's put let's put some gin on top. <laughs> Lovely chocolatey stars. I'll be there for you, Jim. Cassian told me I had to. Lovely milk on top. Oh. Ah, listen to that snap, crack, and pop. And I'll also have a lovely cappuccino. So let's have a bit of vanilla syrup to go on top. Not much left. There we go. That would give it a nice vanilla tang. First thing in the morning. Pod in. Flap up. Flap down. Engage! Why can't we have food record papers? I think it'd be about time to have them now. Forget microwave ovens and shit like this and cookers. Let's have fucking food replicators. Computer, one lovely vanilla cappuccino, please. Flap up. Pod out. Pod in. Flap down. Gibbles and it gibbles and it gibbles. Alright, that'll do. Wait for the green light to come on. Flap up, pod out, dump. Flap down, turn off. Here we go. Oh, I forgot the ingredient, haven't I? Bit of chocolate, and we're time we're ready for breakfast. Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Uh, I'm just about to start wrapping up the TV. Oh, there she goes, the back there. Uh, delivery people are going to be here in about two or three hours, so I've got some tape and a big roll of bubble wrap. So we can wrap the TV, ready for it to whip back. Uh, and they're going to drop off the new one as well. So hopefully we'll get a nice spanking clean new one with no dirty screen shit and banding. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's start wrapping that and then hopefully just a little bit later on we can get it and do some Blu-ray hunting. It's a bit shit out there at the moment. If I can take you over here. You can see out there. Look how that, that bloody things are blowing. 
pissing it down with rain. So it's not going to be a dry Blu-ray hunt today, but anyway, we'll get on and um, I've got to go and pick up a couple of copies of it on Steelbook as well and maybe pop into Lulu's on the way. So anyway, I'm going to get wrapping this TV up ready to go, so I'll see you in a bit. Should we go and have a look in the, uh, the local Poundland here in Maidstone, just on the off chance of something new? Okay, so I thought I'd pop into Maidstone's Poundland and uh, looks like there is some new ones in here. So we've got Annie uh, with a slip there, pay, what, pay the ghost, LA Confidential, uh, Blood Out or something, or oh, Tomorrowland, they've got Tomorrowland. I would pick that up, but I've got that on a steel book. Um, Postman Pat there. Uh, not sure on that one. Alan Partridge. The interview is the one that I picked up last week. Uh, Toy Story 2. Lord of the Rings. Oh, right, okay, yep. Yeah. So, oh, Two Towers as well. Uh, Ghostbusters. There's a 2016 one with a slip. Pay the Ghost. Never heard of that one. Nicholas Cage. Uh, Minions. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So these are quite really top top-notch ones hangover part two uh, Toy Story 2 yeah LA Confidential Minions out of the furnace so yeah they've really had a good collection come in here um, I don't I'm not sure I don't really need to buy any of them because I've already got them bit of a shame because uh, could have picked them up for a quid rather than what paying about 20 quid when, I, when they first came out uh, G.I. Joe, Dark Knight Rises, wow. So they've got some pretty good ones in here. Expendables 3. And this is in Maidstone. Just found another couple of shelves with new Blu-rays on. Um, so what have we got? We've got uh, oh, Sucker Punch. I've never seen that one in, in uh, Poundland before. Minions, Imperium, American Hustle. Your Highness <laughs> with Natalie Portman. High School Musical 3. I thought that said they're knitted, what entitled? Uh, the Machine, that looks interesting. The International. Uh, we've got a lethal weapon here, still got loads of the Lord of the Rings. Minions, but there are, yeah, there's quite a few, still know what you did last summer, still quite a few new titles. Uh, Road, Road Nation there and Twilight. All the American Hustles haven't got slips on, they used to have slips on. Uh, this is probably just another batch. Uh, hummingbird. One chance. A few LA Confidentials as well. Quite a few Lord of the Rings ones. But, uh, more Lord of the Rings. LA Confidential. Dynamo. Magician, yeah. Okay, so we're here at Blue Water. We're going to go and have a look in the Disney store and have a look in HMV as well. Let's get in there and have a look. Oh, welcomed on the door by a stormtrooper. What we got here? So we've got some Yodas. Oh, it looks like he's asleep. Either asleep or he's using the force. Uh, plus we've got some quite large BB-8 here. And um, also, the, is it the 9E? I can't remember his name. Get out of the way, stormtrooper. Uh, plus a nice little collection of figures here. Uh, including a chewy there with some porgs around his feet, so that's very nice. I'd buy it just for that one. Uh, plus also that the useless ship from Crate uh, that didn't have any weapons. Nice little collection there, so lots of figures. And this is the Elite series, uh, so we've got uh, Kylo there. And then we've got Ray in a new outfit, which is really, I really like that outfit. Especially with her hair down there, down, you know, lengthwise like that, it's quite, quite good. Um, plus we've also got a Praetorian Guard as well. 
then over here we've got lots of chewy figures and things plus also uh, kind of like a dirtied up R2 as well so that looks pretty good and it's got some pops over here some pop vinyls and we've got a rose as well so we've got a rose and a BB-8 um, elite figure they seem to be kind of limited on the uh, the figures they've got, so they've also got the, ex the, was it the first order judicial. What's it called? The executioner, I think. The executioner stormtrooper. And also Poe. And that's probably, that's a quite a good likeness. That is, look at that. A pretty good paint job on that. Lots of Hulk figures and shit from the Avengers. This is a nice little figure collection down here from Thor Ragnarok, so that looks very nice. Uh, aww. Paul and BB-8. And then we've got Luke over here, looking very hermity. That's a good likeness as well. I thought he was holding a banana skin there. <laughs> They've also got some rather nice looking figures and things from uh, the new Disney Pixar movie Coco uh, which I think opens either next week or the week after so I'm really looking forward to seeing that it's had some really good reviews even though you know it came out in I think it was October in the US but um, they've even got some pops in here as well <laughs> 305 my god I'm glad I'm not collecting all of them but uh, they look quite good Ernesto Miguel so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's had great reviews, like five-star reviews, but uh, Disney Pixar know how to make a film. So, um, and it looks very colorful. I tell you what, when Coco comes out on Blu-ray and 4K in HDR, it's gonna look incredible. All sorts of figures they got in here. Well, it's so colorful as well. Pop into Smith's Toys and have a look, see what they got. And I noticed they got some Blacks. I was going to say Black Sabbath, Black Panther stuff in. So I'm just going to show you what they've got. Yeah. So here's the the, uh, the Black Panther stuff. So I've got a nice big mask. I think the eyes are light up on this. Um, although I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, but that looks pretty good. That's quite good moulding on that. And also. Uh, we've got some kind of glove. Was it a vibranium? Is that a vibranium? It looks more like Wolverine to me. But um, yeah, that'd be interesting to see that in the movie. Plus, also we've got a figure here. I don't know, look at that. It looks more like it looks more like a pussy cat. Anyway, their expression, whatever. But uh, that looks pretty good. And right up here is. Uh, is another vibranium so it looks a bit different but it's like it fires some little rubber thing hi everyone it's day two blu-ray hunting over two days as you can see in the sky we've got a lovely 
blue sky which is a complete change from yesterday there's never two days that are the same so we're gonna head off and head to Sainsbury's and Tesco's in a minute I'll tell you the reason why we're doing it over two days in a minute yes so it's Tuesday uh, yesterday I was a bit pushed for the blu-ray hunting um, I had to wait in for the new TV to come which is all set up which hopefully I'll show you a little bit later on I've just been up to the storeroom here to put the packaging because I threw the last lot of packaging out so <laughs> so I had to wrap the old TV up with um, bubble wrap, bits of cardboard and bin bags. So, yeah, I guess people were okay with it. But uh, at least the screen was protected. But um, I'm happy, very happy with my new TV. It's the same model. It's a Hisense 65, 65-inch uh, 4K HDR. Uh, there is a very minimal amount of dirty screen, but it's hardly noticeable. So I'm really happy. The picture is a lot crisper, a lot brighter as well. And there's no banding, no black banding. So I am very happy with that. And we're going to leave that. I don't need to get onto them anymore about that shit. So um, I've tested it with just regular like uh sky you know sky q transmission and it looks gorgeous uh and i've tried i tell you what i was looking at um some videos on youtube yesterday and there was a uh there was a video called peru 8k hdr my god right I, i'm gonna try and show you a little bit later on but it shows you how crisp the picture is so I was bloody gobsmacked when I saw that. I know it's probably downgraded from 8K to 4K, but even still the picture is bloody spectacular. So anyway, enough of this rambling, otherwise we'll never get out. So um, yeah, so other than that, yesterday I had the uh, TV people come, which took about, what they were done about half past one, I think, in the afternoon. And then I had to pop up to Maidstone, pick up some IT still books. Um, then I had to pop up to Blue Water, uh, which I got some footage previously of the uh, the Disney store there. Um, and by the time I got home, it was about a quarter to eight in the evening. So didn't have time to go and do any Tesco's and Sainsbury's stuff. So we're going to do that now. So anyway, let's get on the road and I'll see you down at Westwood Cross. Oh, okay, so it was raining and pissing it down yesterday. It's blue sky today, but it's bloody windy. So if you can see it over there, over my shoulder and under my hair, Sainsbury's. So we're going to pop in there now. So we're here on the 4K section and the Blu-rays. Um, I was wondering, um, I might possibly actually pick up Blue Planet 2 on 4K. Because I've only seen it in HD, so it'd be nice to see it in 4K. But um, I don't know. Um, I'll have a think about it, maybe. Okay, and uh, over here on the DVD section, got a couple of uh, like a low budget ones. Josh Hartnett, I was wondering what the hell had happened to him. Uh, and he's in some Everest looking film called Six Below for eight quid. Uh, there's also a Western world as well. So that looks quite good, looks a bit like Deadwood. Most of the other stuff here is the same that's been here for the last week. Uh, there's something here called every everything 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 <laughs> everything really I don't know what that is and we're over on the TV section looks like the only big release is uh, the League of Gentlemen the anniversary specials uh, plus they've also got looks like the uh, the complete collection there so that's quite a good collection there never actually seen the shows so <laughs> but I heard it's pretty good I was just over here on the book section uh, and I noticed the one that's doing the rounds at the moment. Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House. I'm going to build a wall. It's going to be a big wall and it's going to be around my mouth. <laughs> okay, so there's only a couple of extra DVDs. Some new DVDs over here in the, uh, the section. So we're going to head over to Tesco's now and see if they've got any exclusives over there. On the way out of Sainsbury's, something caught my eye. Look at these really nice greetings cards. Lovely embossed foil gold ones. 
They're really nice, really classy. I think I would just probably frame them, not send them to anyone. Also, oh, Stormtrooper there. Happy birthday. Storming birthday. It's your Wookiee day. It's got a nice little metallic-y tint on it. And that's a quite a good... Oh, that one unfolds. Let's have a look, see what it says. Oh, that's pretty good. May the force be with you. Yes, these are really nice. These are nice. Uh, the Empire commands you to have a great birthday. <laughs> Folks, still bloody windy. Um, let's head off into Tesco's, the last stop of the day. I need to pick up some big sleeves and we'll have a look, see what Blu-rays they got in there. Let's get in there out of the wind. Okay, so there was nothing new in Tesco's, so that was a bit of a bust. Everything that was in there was in Sainsbury's and HMV. I went over to the uh, the big sleeves. Uh, they did have a few of the ones that I needed, but they were all buggered. They were all not got the hubs on, but they had buggered edges, and half the, like the cellophane had, was ripped off, so I'm just gonna order them online and get them sent to me pristine. That's the last couple of group buy ones to go out, so I think that's about it for today. So let's head home, and I'll show you what I've picked up. Yes, I did pick a few things up. See you at home. Oh look, you can see my shadow. Hello, hello everyone. So, um, back home now, uh, I've got the TV on, as you can see up the top there, Peru 8K HDR, 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to press play and we can have a good old look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is stunning. see the spectacular detail from here but oh and you can see in the sky there there's a very minimal very minimal uh, dirty screen so I'm happy with that but the greens are beautiful and the blues and the detail in the rocks so there we go so I'm really happy with that Little cheeky monkey. What? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's all I'm going to be saying. That's gorgeous. Oh, I'm shit of trash. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Anyway, that's the TV. As I say, very happy with that. So let's go back upstairs and. Um, I'll show you what I got in the last two days. Hey everyone, so back from the shops and all the shit and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to show you what I picked up. One came through the post yesterday from Amazon and the rest I picked up today. So the one that I got yesterday is it. And you can see it's got nice spot gloss on the balloon there and on the title. Uh, and I've actually picked up the 4K edition. So this is my first official pickup of a non-steel book for 4K. Um, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to go for the HMV steel book, even though it's sold out now. I'll tell you a little story about that in a minute. Uh, the artwork was a little bit different from, I think it's Best Buy. Uh, but I did like this artwork. And I like the the 4K Ultra HD along the top there. And I love the fact that they come in black cases. That looks so good, even without the slip. So I'm just going to do a little unboxing on that. So it comes with a digital code, so that will be coming soon. And we've got two discs, the Blu-ray and the 4K. Nice that the 4K has actually got some artwork on it. So that's that. Um, I'm going to watch it again, this time in 4K downstairs. So that will be really good. 
So the whole thing comes with 4K, Blu-ray and the digital copy. So that came to the post yesterday. Um, talking of the steel book, I don't know what the hell the print run was on these steel books, but the, the website sold out bloody about a week or two ago. Um, you try to get a couple of copies in HMV stores and it is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Most stores only had between five and ten copies in, so it must have been a very low print run. They're selling on eBay for about 40 or 50 pounds at the moment. But yeah, I mean, if the Steelbook had had 4K included, I probably would have gone for it. But I really did want the 4K because I'm not too worried because there's no 3D on this on this one. So that's that. Uh, what I picked up today, uh, two new releases of part of the premium collection. And these are Blu-rays that I've not owned. So I haven't got, I actually I didn't even have them on DVD. So the first one is Amistad. And these are both Steven Spielberg movies. And down there on the bottom there, it says first time on Blu-ray. So it's never been on Blu-ray before. Exclusive only to HMV. So that does look good. And it, com it comes with a Blu-ray, the DVD, uh, and also a digital download as well. So that's pretty good. And the other one, which is also, as I say, another Spielberg one. This one also says first time on Blu-ray. Munich. So there, very nice. That comes with a Blu-ray, DVD and digital download as well. So actually they look really nice together. They'll look good on the shelf. And um, because they got the same type of banding on the side there, so with a silver banding, so that looks really nice. This is actually the first two premium collection Blu-rays that I own. Specifically because I wanted the uh, the Spielberg movies. Uh, right, okay. Also, as you saw, there were some new titles in Poundland. I actually picked up a few. Not too many this time, though. So, one that I picked up, and I'm still trying to work out who the hell this is on the cover. It's supposed to be Clive Owen. So, this is the International, with Clive Owen and Naomi Watts. That, that is a really bad Photoshop because it looks more like Colin Farrell than bloody Col uh, Clive Owen. So it's a slick, fast-moving conspiracy theory. So that looks pretty good. Don't think I've got that one. I'm pretty sure I've never, I've not picked that one up. Uh, the next one I picked up is Jason Statham, and that's Hummingbird. So that looks pretty good. Statham rocks in this powerhouse thriller. So do like a bit of Statham kick-ass action. So that'd be good. And the last one I picked up is something called Machine with uh, Toby Stevens. It's going to be really weird watching this because I've been watching him for like four years in um, Black Sails. So it's going to be really weird watching him doing something else. But um, that looks pretty good. It looks the cover looks a bit like what's a, what was that film? Ex Machina, isn't it? Is it Ex Machina? It looks a bit like that. So that'd be interesting. Uh, and as you saw on the Poundland, there there was quite a few big titles as well, like Tomorrowland, lots of Lord of the Rings other bits and pieces but there was no point buying them because I've got them all I've got them all on either blu-ray or steelbook so there's my little stash for these two days so that's that uh, one thing that I read today which is a bit of like breaking news um, I read that they've actually cast uh, Ivan Drago's son that's going to be in Creed 2 and it's a oh, I've written this down so I don't forget um, it's a, a Romanian German boxer in real life called Florian Montano or Montano um, I don't know if he can act but then again he only has to throw some punches uh, and I'm going to post a picture up here so this is the boxer that's going to have to go up against Adonis Creed. Uh, he does look the part, doesn't he? 
<laughs> so I'm getting a bit worried now that this is going to be like Rocky Four all over again. It's going to be some serious revenge shit. So I'm looking forward to that. That Creed 2 is looking better and better. So we can't wait for that. So that's the movie news and the Blu-rays out of the way. Um, I think we should ask Alexa some it shit. <laughs> ask Alexa shit. Alexa, Wiki Pennywise the Clown. It is the title character of Stephen King's 1986 horror novel It. The character is an entity which preys upon the children of Derry, Maine, roughly every 27 years, using a variety of powers that include the ability to shapeshift, manipulate, and go unnoticed by adults. During the course of the story, it primarily appears in the form of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. King stated in a 2013 interview that he came up with the idea for Pennywise after asking himself what scared children more than anything else in the world. He felt that the answer was clowns. King thought of a troll like the one in the children's tale Three Billy Goat Scruff, who inhabited a sewer system. The character was portrayed in its Pennywise form by Tim Curry in the 1990 television adaptation and in the 2017 film adaptation by Bill Skarsgård who will reprise the role in it, Chapter 2, which is scheduled to release on September 6, 2019. Alexa, what is Amistad? United States v. Schooner Amistad, 40 U.S. 518, was a United States Supreme Court case resulting from the rebellion of Africans on board the Spanish schooner La Amistad in 1839. Alexa, Wiki the Movie Munich Munich is a 2005 American-Canadian historical drama political thriller film based on Operation Wrath of God, the Israeli government's secret retaliation against the Palestine Liberation Organization after the Munich massacre at the 1972 Summer Olympics. Ask Alexa shit! Well folks, I think that's about it for today's and yesterday's Blu-ray hunt and toy shopping and all that kind of shit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a double thumbs up if you can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.